guys, and here's about biodiversity. No, 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 please don't go away, and it's important for you. So, biodiversity includes genetic diversity, ecosystem diversity, and also species diversity. We will focus on the human impact of species diversity in Hong Kong. And we have chosen butterflies and birds as our samples. Arthropoda, class Insecta, order Lepidoptera. They like to come out during the day and use sunlight to warm up their wings. At night, butterflies rest under leaves. A butterfly species lays eggs on only one to two plant species. Some caterpillars and butterflies only feed on one species of plants. In Hong Kong, there are currently 240 discovered species of butterflies. Feng Yun is a famous butterfly feeding site in Hong Kong and Asia. There are about 200 butterfly species, which is more than 80% of total species of butterflies in Hong Kong. This large variety and population is due to its geography. The hill and streams provide rich nutrients for essential plants that butterfly feeds on to grow. However, urbanization is already harming the population of butterflies. Construction of a property called Mumford in 2008 annihilated plant cover near the preservation area in the construction site. Although this development is opposed by villagers, is never revoked. As a result, this habitat destruction seriously reduces the abundance and diversity of plants, and directly affects the diversity of butterflies and other animals. Then, Actually, urbanization is not only affecting butterflies. Let's move on to the case studies of our lovely birds. Hey, it's Rafi again. Birds, Phylum cordata, superclass tetrapoda, class AV. There are currently more than 500 species in Hong Kong and nine viewing sites. However, as with the case of butterflies, birds are facing severe threats from urbanization. One, habitat loss due to human activity induced habitat conversion puts 85% of the bird species at risk. In Hong Kong during the year 2010, 75% of the land was rural and 38% was country park. These numbers continue to decrease because of human activity. These are the maps of Hong Kong from 1954 to 1988. It is clear that the urban area expanded during Hong Kong's rapid development. As a result, there are less habitats for birds. 2. Ecological light pollution refers to the effect of artificial light on an organism or on the ecosystem structure. Light pollution can be beneficial for some, but for migrating birds, it is a curse. Light from tall buildings disorient these birds. As a result, fewer of them choose to enter Hong Kong affecting Hong Kong's biodiversity. Light pollution is serious in Hong Kong. From street lights to billboards, the city that never sleeps is emitting too much light. The light show in Victoria Harbour every 8 p.m. demonstrates how we illuminate the sky just for our own enjoyment. Hong Kong is super noisy, especially in urban areas. This drowns over birds' attempt to communicate through sound during reproduction. Birds' life cycles are seriously affected. Most animals make sounds, but humans can make bigger by tools and machineries. Loud environments can not only disorient birds, they can also cause permanent damage to them. Like us, birds tend to avoid noisy places, and hence, you seldom see birds cross the road. Indeed. species that we have mentioned, they are generally affected by the urbanization. To relieve and solve this problem, different stakeholders have different responsibilities. Governments can provide more funds and resources for the preservation of natural habitats. NGOs can hold more tasks and publish more leafland in order to help the citizens to protect their species. For us, as a student, we can attend more talks and learn environmental science in order to get familiar with these issues. 